Welcome back to Squawk Box. We are live in Seattle this morning uh, at Amazon's headquarters. And artificial intelligence, a very big theme of Amazon CEO Andy Jassy's annual letter just out this morning. Of course, we'll be talking to him about that letter in just a little bit. The company recently released uh, and, and announced that it is deepening its partnership with Anthropic. Uh, Amazon has invested $4 billion in the AI company. And in turn, Anthropic will use AWS uh, as its primary cloud provider for mission critical workloads. Uh, here in Seattle, we spoke with Matt Wood, who's the vice president of artificial intelligence at Amazon, about that relationship with Anthropic. We have made uh, equity investment in Anthropic. Uh, we don't have a board seat or control or anything like that. Uh, but Anthropic are one of uh, a number of model providers that make available foundation models which customers can use to add reasoning and intelligence and automation inside their businesses. Of course, Anthropic uh, competing with OpenAI, uh, Google, and others. Uh, but interestingly, we asked Wood about the work that Amazon is doing to try to build AI technology in-house. It's building its own large language model itself uh, called Olympus versus making partnerships like this. One of the things that we've noticed with generative AI is that there's not going to be one model to rule them all. Uh, it seems that each different use case from different customers uh, has a different sweet spot with a different model. And so customers really value the opportunity to be able to match their use case to the right model. So some models are really great at reasoning. Some are really great at summarization or image generation or understanding images. Others have really great operational characteristics. They're really cheap or they're really fast or they're really intelligent. And so by offering models from Amazon plus Anthropic and others like Meta and Cohere and Stability AI and more AI21 labs, uh, we're able to allow customers to match their use case to the model that makes sense. So in isolation, they always get the right fit for the right model. Uh, so that's really, really important. But the superpower of generative AI is that by combining these models together, you get a compounding effect of the intelligence and a compounding effect of the types of problems that you can solve in aggregate. So they've become much stronger than the sum of their parts. Now, this is going to become a very uh, interesting and important point when it comes to competition in the AI world because of the exclusive nature around OpenAI's relationship, for example, uh, with Microsoft. Anthropic has this relationship with Amazon, but also has one with Google. So we're going to see a very interesting thing play out, and we'll talk more with Andy Jassy about this issue in just a little bit. We should mention uh, some other breaking news out of Amazon this morning that relates to AI, uh, which is that the company adding an expert in AI to its board of directors. Uh, Andrew Ang is joining the board, managing a general partner of the AI fund. He had been the founding lead of Google's deep learning project and formerly the chief scientist at Baidu. We've had him on the broadcast a number of times in the past. Uh, so Andrew Ang in joining the board of, uh, of Amazon and uh, just another example of uh, how AI is becoming increasingly important to all of these big tech companies.